Hello, my name is Mike Driscoll, and today we're going to talk about Python's built-ins module. You may not know this, but there is a module with all the built-in functions uh, handy for you. This module provides direct access to all built-in identifiers in Python. For example, builtins.open is the full name for the built-in open. We could cl click on this and see all the built-in functions. All of these are available in the built-ins module. Now, why would you even want this module? That is an interesting question. Sometimes you have to deal with modules that when you import them, they override default behavior in Python. For example, you may notice that uh, tkinter, which is the GUI framework that comes with Python, is usually recommended to do uh, from tkinter import all. So let's uh, switch over to um, this code here. We'll just uh, open up Python 3. And you, you will usually see code like this, where you say from tkinter import all. That imports everything in the tkinter module. Now, the tkinter module is written correctly and doesn't actually override any of Python's built-ins. But that's not true for every single program or every single module that you might encounter. Some modules will um, import over like open or sum or int. And when that happens, you end up with weird behavior. So for example, let's say I have uh, int equals five. Now if I try to call int on a string, it won't work because int is no longer callable, whereas it was before. So now we can say uh, import built-ins, and we can fix this by creating like a pyint, and say we want built-ins.int, and now we can say pyint of four should convert um, the string four into an integer of four. And we can prove this by using Python's type function. And now we see that it is a class class of int or a callable. Um, I have actually seen some programs that will inject themselves at runtime and overwrite stuff, like int, uh, sum, uh, even type. Um, one program that I used to use a lot, or one uh, package I used to use a lot, was called Squish from Frog Logic. I'm just going to show you what that website looks like. So. You know what I'm talking about. So, Squish is known as a GUI tester. Um, it's a pretty good product. Uh, product if you're testing like a Qt, a C++ Qt GUI. Um, it also works with other types of uh, GUIs, like um, they have a Squish for Java, Squish for mobile, web, Windows, and Mac. Um, if you need to do um, automated testing, automated GUI testing, Squish is actually pretty good. However, the Python code for Squish at runtime will overwrite certain things like int and type, and you might end up with some weird errors in your code if you're depending on those objects. And I do a lot, so one way around doing the, uh, around that problem is to just use built-ins and create a, a new named function that you can still use the same way you'd use int or open or one of the other built-ins. So anyway. Give it a try. Built-ins function is there for you for whenever you need that kind of functionality, and it's really handy. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time.